welcome back to my channel hope you guys are well and hope you guys are doing great so for today's video I will be food vlogging today and I thought I should show you guys how I make a Ferrero soup and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it um, so yeah a Ferrero soup is like my as in I love a Ferrero soup like a Ferrero soup is just the best soup in the world yes I said it <laughs> So, um, yeah, so basically it's made of veggies and stew and um, it's so delicious, like it is super delicious. Um, it's popular in the western part of Nigeria by the Yoruba people, but um, everyone loves it. I'm Igbo and I love it as well, so yeah, it's a cool one. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I make my own F4 Riro. Is it F4 Riro? I don't even know how to pronounce it very well, but Eferiro, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how I make Eferiro soup, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if this is the first time of checking out my channel, hey, welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel. I have a lot of videos centered on motherhood, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, hauls, reviews, like food, anything really. So just you know have a look around my channel i'm sure you'll find something that you like and also stick around make sure you subscribe to my channel i post videos regularly and i would love to have you guys as part of my viewers okay so yeah i'm just going to get on with the video so my husband bought this pot for me and this one so i feel like using this one for the effort just to try it out Looks cute. Anyway, I'm going to pop this on the hob to start cooking. So these are just my, this is just my beef and my shaki. I'm going to put some salt in there. So the salt can cook the meat. So to cook the meat and the tripe, I'm going to add dry pepper. Also add a few seasoning cubes. I've also added all purpose seasoning stock powder. This stock powder is completely optional, you don't have to use it at all. Next, I'll add the chopped onions and then wash the peppers. So I'm going to use these long sweet peppers and then one bell pepper, a few pieces of tomatoes and scotch bonnet. Now the tomatoes is optional. You can choose to add tomatoes or not, um, but I decided to add tomatoes to mine. But I've made some Eferiro soups that I did not add any tomatoes. So it's just optional. You can or cannot use it depending on your choice yeah so I'm just going to you know chop them into smaller bits so that they can be easily blended and then I'm going to make the stew for the Eferiro with just these peppers and tomato <music> going to add one bulb of onions to be blended with the tomatoes and the peppers I'm going to add palm oil into the pot to you know start frying the palm oil to get it hot before I add onions into it When the oil is hot, I'll add one whole chopped onions into the oil and then just give it a stir. I'll let this fry for like one to two minutes. 
before I add the blended pepper mix into the oil to allow it to fry as well so this one I'm just going to leave it to fry for a while and then when it's dry that is when I'll add seasoning so I'm just checking the bit now and I've added crayfish into the meat so that the meat and the crayfish can cook together and I added some iru and crayfish into the blended peppers and allowed it to cook for a while so whilst the soup is cooking I'm going to chop my spinach so I'm using this spinach, um, this one is the baby spinach, you could use ugu or any other vegetable that you can grab your hands on. But I'm using spinach for this one because it's the easiest one to get. Yeah, so I'm just going to chop it into some, you know, smaller bits and keep it aside. So after a few minutes of cooking the stew, I can see that it has fried very well, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a quick stir and then start adding my spices into it. So I'm just going to add just a few spices, not too much. A few cubes of seasoning. Then I'll add a little bit of salt and give it a good stir I added a little bit of this seasoning called Aromat, but it's totally optional. You don't have to add this one, you can just keep this out. After a few minutes of letting the stew cook for a while, um, oh my goodness, you should smell my kitchen right now. My kitchen smells like as in, it smells so delicious. Yeah, so now I'm just going to add my meat and my tripe or shaki into the stew and just, you know, give it a good stir and allow the meat to suck in that flavor from the stew so I'm going to allow it cook for a while like a few more minutes before I now add my spinach so spinach is going to be the last thing that I will add into this soup also I thought I should mention that for a foriro soup you don't need to add any more water or stock into the soup okay just leave it like that you know the palm oil and your tomato and pepper blend is enough liquid for this soup okay after a few minutes of cooking the meat with the stew I'm going to add my spinach so I'm just going to first of all give this a stir you know, then add spinach. Spinach is the last thing that you should add to your soup. For the spinach, I'm going to leave it to cook for about three minutes. You know, that way it doesn't lose all the vitamins inside the spinach.
my people just look at this pot of deliciousness hey <laughs> i go chop belly food today <laughs> So that is it for my video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is how I make my F4 re-roll. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed my food vlog today. Do make sure you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I post videos weekly and I would love to have you as part of my viewers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!